Alright, hey, what's up guys? I'm ready to bring you this video today. I'm playing Skyline Cities. The cool stuff. Oh yeah, I know. It's a, it's actually a pretty fun game. I really enjoy playing it. I actually did a few videos before this one, uh, but I found out that my game recorder was only doing one to two frames for some reason. Ended up figuring out what the problem was, fixed it, and I'm br going to bring you this video. Um, I'm also going to talk a little about uh, philosophy. Um, a certain theory about how we as people are actually temporal parts that are stretched through time. Ooh, it sounds crazy, right? Well, either way, let's just dive right into the video. I gotta admit, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I actually tried, as mentioned, I tried recording this before. Uh, found out my video was only uh, recording like one to two second, one to two frames per second. So, either way, we're moving on from that. Um, as you may have seen, at the start, I end up having a uh, road coming off of the highway um, in a loop right there at the very front um, and that's where all my industry is going to go and that's because I don't want these huge trucks and whatnot in traffic to have to go all the way through the city and whatnot in order to get to the big industry areas. So I'm just going to have them placed at the start and we'll see how it works. As I've seen in our videos that seems to be the best technique um, but you know I have a lot to learn still. So I got my wire lines almost set up and getting my power set up and I have to admit that power is probably one of the most annoying things I've ever experienced in this game um, because just it takes so much energy to feel, feel a city and so I just focus on having a bunch of wind turbines um, I really like the wind turbines they're green clean and sustainable energy um, and it beats having to build a bunch of coal mines or coal plants whatever they're called so right now I'm just going to worry about getting good infrastructure and building a city um, that's that's uh, able to grow. Um, because if you build a city that doesn't have good infrastructure, you're going to stunt your growth throughout the whole game. Trust me, I know. I made that mistake many a times. Uh-oh. Those people need to get their poop out of the house. <laughs> that would suck, not being able to get poop out of your house. Wow. Alright, now i got to get some power over there. Um, so yeah, really right off the bat, just get power, water, sewage, all set up right to start. Boom, done. Um, and then you'll be set. I hate those power lines. Just looks so gross. He's just lying. Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just gonna make sure everything's recording good. And, uh, it is. Perfect. Great for you, uh, you little viewer you watching this. So, I'm gonna work on growing my residential area. I'm going to try and set up my roads where there's no like spaces that aren't being used um, because there's no point in wasting that real estate. What the hell? My road was curving. Alright. Make some progress here. Perfect. Looks pretty good so far. Got a little city. I'm actually going to expand this um, road. How did I expand? Oh, there we go. Um, I'm just going to make this a uh, two lane road. Um, so that the traffic can flow easily because I noticed that um, in my previous videos when you have a small road going right off the highway um, traffic gets really shitty really quick and I might even make those lanes one lane road just so it's one way in and one way out um, but I'm not sure yet I'm so debating on it so I'm gonna get some industry up I like how at the bottom um, it shows you little the little green, blue, and orange bars showing what your city needs to grow. Um, so it allows you to choose and focus on what you need to do. But I still don't know the exact timing <coughs> timing for everything. I'm going to end up putting my um, garbage right there. Um, keep it right off the main road. Uh, so it's not in, in, uh, in the residential area because that would really suck for people out who live there. I mean, imagine you having to wake up to the smell of shit and garbage right next to your house. That would really suck. Alright, so I'm going to work on just uh, taking up all those little areas. And I read a tip um, on their website and they said that you shouldn't uh, make super complex roads um, can, great, uh, can uh, create traffic. Um, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. You know? Gotta survive. Gotta thrive. Gotta build a need speed oh my I'm not much of a rapper but I try I try alright so we're on what day like 5,000 cool 
I, I got this time in hyperspeed. I don't like just doing it. Um, I don't like just doing the one arrow. Unless things are like getting out of wire. Like I had one game where um, I had like a pandemic. And there's literally hundreds of people dying every day. It was bad. There's just like dead people everywhere. People are constantly saying, oh, time to move. All I smell are dead people around here. Um, so yeah, it can get out of hand pretty quick. Um, and like I mentioned, that's why I want to focus on uh, infrastructure and building a city that is going to be ready for the long haul. Um, blast, I don't have enough money. That sucks. I hate running out of money. It's like, those are two biggest issues. Money and, um, money and energy. Those are two biggest pain in the asses I've ever dealt with in this game. And then people always being needy. People are like, oh, we need health care. We need... It's like, no, go screw yourselves. Why don't you set up your own health care? I'm just kidding. I love my city and the people who live in it. I take care of them. Okay, so... Um, i got to make really slow progress on this right now. Because I'm not making a lot of money, as you can tell. <laughs> I just want to grow my city. I'm just working... Oh, yes. Little Hamlet. Alright. We're leveling up me city. Cool. Well now I can build uh I can build some power lines for you bitches. She always complaining. So the first two services I get, um, is garbage is number one. So I'm gonna set my garbage up uh, kind of out of the way of all the rest of the people who live there. Um, I get a medical clinic. Uh, because I don't know if I need this early, but I hate it. I absolutely hate it. When people start getting sick, and if you're behind, it's really hard to catch up. Gotta take some loans out. Like, shit, I set up two, I set up a hospital and like ten clinics. Still wasn't enough for how many people were sick. Because once the sickness gets uh, spread, it gets bad. Oh, crap. I don't have enough electricity. We need more energy. Okay, well, um, what should I do? I guess, oh, I only have like $1,000 I need, or uh, $100 or so, too. 300 Oh, 300 okay, cool. So, yeah, just really focus on um, building uh, wind farms. I like wind farms. You can use coal mines, whatever you want. Uh, that's up to you as the mayor of your city, but I personally like building wind farms. I mean, you want to make sure you place them in the darkest areas, darkest regions on the map. Um, getting that 8 megawatts uh, is important um, because if you waste it on, you know, a place that only has 4 or 5, you're not getting the most bang for your buck. And it could end up hurting your city in the long haul. Either way, though. Alright, alright. City's looking pretty nice. How do you like it? Let me know in the comment section, please. I just want to know I have a beautiful city. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to work on uh, growing that industry, making the money, the money, making it rain. <laughs> so, you're probably, uh, probably wondering what I'm going to do next. And that is, uh, nothing. I'm going to do nothing. Oh, look at that. I have a worthy village. The lords have chosen me for a worthy village. Come all people here and live in my worthy village named Rock Valley. That's beautiful, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm going to set up a fire department. I usually do a fire department um, as my third place and then school. Um, I don't really focus on the um, police department just because crime doesn't tend to be a problem at the start. Um, so worry about getting your fire department up, especially by the industrial area. Tons of places are tend to burn down because I think all of them run like sweatshops and nobody knows what they're doing. <laughs> so either way, yeah, just focus on that. Get a fire department up. Get a school system in place because the more educated your people are, well, the higher the land value is. And the better the workforce you have, more money you can make. Just the end all be all. Having an educated um, city is much better than not. So I'm looking at this area over here. I don't really care for the river all too much. Um, just because I might get distracted knowing my personality. I'll probably <laughs> end up expanding over there. Um, which I don't know if is a good idea or not. But we'll find out. I'm sure building a freaking uh, bridge across there is going to cost a lot of money. 
I can almost bet it will, because bridges aren't cheap. Okay, everything's looking good, uh, except you need more power. Well, how about that? You know what? New power usage policy. How about you stop using so damn much power, you fools? Jeez, bunch of energy hogs over there. I'm gonna have to just spend more money on a freaking wind farm. Ridiculous. You guys are incredible. Oh, this is kind of cool. Can rotate the camera all around. Sweet. Ooh. What's this? I can set... Oh! What? Oh! It sets up little districts. Oh, it's kind of cool. I think, um... Interesting. We'll see what that can do later. I wonder what I can... There's like a farm. Is that a... I think that's like a forest and agriculture um, district you can set. Oh, cool. That's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, you really want to focus on setting your city up for the long haul. And building a... I'm going to raise the taxes a little bit just to make more money. Um, but you want to focus on setting your city up for a long haul and having good infrastructure because if you don't, your city is going to crumble. Um, yeah, so I think what from what I've read is just focus on the first part of your city. Don't expend too quickly. Um, just really focus on making out one city really good. You know, think about it as this way. Um, it's kind of like the perdurance theory or perdurance theory however you want to pronounce it um, which from a time worm theory is the idea that one part of you still exists into future self so it's almost like this city right here um, its stages right now are going to play into effect of how well it does in the future if you set up a city that isn't doing very well to start how can you imagine it to grow of course there are ways you can come back and make it grow well, but wouldn't you rather just have a city at the start of its stages um, be really well off and be able to grow rapidly into a great city, like a metropolis almost? Um, so think about it as that way, you know? We're not just 3D people, we're not just a three-dimensional being in, a, in one stage, but rather um, we're four-dimensional and our existence um, is being constantly formed through our life and through time so not to sound all you know motivational here but think about it. what you do as a kid um, is going to affect you as an adult you know those lifestyles and whatnot they have as a child are what is going to determine who you are so either way just think about your city about growing it I'm gonna try and get a new name first place I don't know rickety rockety it's kind of a bad name ain't it I don't know what to name it one sec Oh, please give me a name. I got it. Surfing USA. Everybody surfing now. Come on, baby. Come on and surf with me. Okay, beautiful. I like that the demographics of it. Beautiful. Singing 10 out of 10 would sing again. Um, but I love the, uh, the demographics you can see in here. Just because it allows you to know what your city is, who's living there and whatnot. But... I think this is a good spot to stop at. I'm going to worry about growing the energy and uh, just keeping this place growing. Because um, that's what it's all about at the start. is just having enough energy and water to build everything and make enough income. So yeah. Oh, hey. Look, I'm a tiny town. Cool. And if you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. And yeah, look forward to bringing you uh, episode two. Bye.